Hello lads, it's Marvin Bain, how you doing? And as you can tell from the title of this video, these are the five bicep exercises that you need to be doing in your routine. I repeat, you need to be doing in your routine, especially if your biceps are the size of a 12 year old girl's. Anyway, we're gonna start with the bicep barbell curl. Staple compound movement mass builder you can't go wrong with it it's going to target both your short and long head of the bicep so really stretch the arm and control the negative eventually you're going to get fatigued so to up the intensity i recommend swinging the weight up so use a bit of momentum and control the negative as you go down because that's where most muscle damage takes place if you've got a mate training with you get him to help you pull the weight up and then control the negative on the way down Oh yeah, by the way, a slightly wider grip may contribute to more long head activation. Um, the long head is located on the outside of your arm, so the outside bicep, compared to a, a close inside shoulder width grip, which actually hinders overall bicep activation and can cause unwanted strain on your wrists. So I'd avoid that if you can. Oh shit. <sighs> it's the incline dumbbell curl. This is an absolute killer i'm telling you so again it basically puts a lot more emphasis on the long head of the bicep again the long head is okay so when you hit like a back double bicep and you see that peak from the back that peaky bicep that's basically the long head which a lot of people lack yeah but why does this movement put a lot more emphasis on the long head i'm gonna tell you so basically when the bench is on an incline your shoulder is put into a, a hyper extended position which stretches the long head of the bicep even more allowing it to produce a lot more force on the concentric so when you're curling the weight up so basically the long head is doing a lot more work and um, remember keep your upper back locked onto the bench your chest up shoulders retracted and keep your elbows back as much as you can i also recommend doing this at the same time so curling at the same time compared to like alternating you know it's just going to save time and generate fatigue in a more efficient way one more thing curl the weight outwards away from you and really squeeze that bicep i know I've said bicep at least 20,000 times now, but it's really important. Um, you see, I'm only using eight, so you don't really need a lot of weight for this. On my second set, I got absolutely wrecked because of the form, the time of the tension, lowering it so slowly and coming back up. But yeah, squeeze the bicep, really try this exercise out. I think it's gonna benefit you guys a lot. Underrated, mate. Underrated exercise right here, the chin-ups. Um, I remember when I first started lifting, I literally only had a couple of dumbbells and a chin-up bar in my room. It was, it was great, good times. I think I could honestly say that the chin-up is a big contribution to my massive biceps. Joking, but honestly, great exercise. So basically the biceps, um, from what I know, they're built up of mostly type 2 muscle fibers, so they respond better to heavy weight. Um, so progressively overloading from body weight chin-ups to eventually using a weighted belt is ideal absolutely ideal and try not to um drop down all the way to a dead hang i mean yeah full range of motion is good but when you go to a dead hang you lose most of the tension off of your biceps and yes i know not everyone can do chin ups and pull ups so i recommend starting off with the assisted pull up machine if your gym has one it's pretty good the alternating dumbbell curl you can't get better than this lads you can't get better than this. As you can see from the bottom of the movement, you come up as if you were to do a hammer curl with your palms facing each other, targeting more of the long head, the branchialis, and I can't pronounce this properly, but I think it's the branchoradialis, which is located at the top of your forearm. And then about halfway up, turn your wrist and squeeze the hell out of that bicep. Again, really exaggerate turning your wrists out by nearly having your pinkies face towards you, as you can see. Um, this is gonna emphasize the activation in the short head a lot more. So just to sum this exercise up, you are hitting both heads of your bicep and the forearm. More bang for your buck, so give it a bash. Cheers! Final movement, preacher curl. If you can't leave your ego at the door, then you have to try this exercise. I mean, this movement, it allows no cheating whatsoever. You're literally only using your biceps, so you can't use as much weight. 
Bicep activation is at its peak at the first portion of the movement, so when you're curling your weight up. However, it is easy to rest at the top, which is what I do as well. So um, I recommend switching to the machine preacher curl if your gym has one, which is also a sick exercise. It keeps tension on the entire bicep throughout the whole movement and one more thing if you happen to have uneven biceps like one is bigger than the other which i do as well other people do then definitely try the preacher curl with dumbbells just to iron out that imbalance it's done it's over the video is finished finito i've given you the five exercises you need to get big biceps incorporate it in your pull routines or your arm days whatever you want to do just do those five exercises i've given you the tools now it's just down to you if you did like the video, then please leave a like, comment, follow me on Instagram, MarvinBain underscore, and I hope you have a very nice day. I'll see you in the next video. Peace! You're still here. You're still fucking here. What's wrong with you? Can you just go away, please? I've given you the ex Okay, peace. I'm gone. Leave it. Stand.